Gamers, 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 welcome once again to another U of M Flint eSports broadcast. I'm Sky Dagger, and we have got a night of some Rainbow Six ready for you uh, going up against Oklahoma Christian University. Um, our boys are raring and ready to go, and I simply cannot wait for us to begin here. Uh, and the Twitch band comes out. Very nice. I mean, you want to keep a lot of that uh, setup very much safe. You don't want to be looking around for a Twitch drone, wasting time on prep phase. Um, a Twitch can get really, really slimy, really annoying, um, you know, and, and especially mid-gunfight or anything like that. It, it's just uh, it's worse than a drone for absolute sure. Um, and Oklahoma Christian does ban Thatcher, um, so we are not going to be seeing... Uh, that that massive gadget disabling um, from both sides here. The Kaid does come out, um, so that's definitely a hit to the defender's side uh, kind of wall defense here. Ryda uh, seems to be able to play Fenrir, at least that's what they... Seem to be talking about here. A zombie band as well. Uh, those deployable, uh, that deployable material that's used for cover, absolutely um, so useful in the middle of a gunfight, um, especially just able to make uh, choke points even that much more uh, contestable. So really interesting to see. The bands are done, and uh, round one begins. You and Flint on the defense. Looks like we're looking at Snowmobile Garage to start off, and uh, a win is definitely... Okay, I under... Okay. Kiminer, I understand. The the bands... Oh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll clarify. This chatter just said that this happens every time they play. I thought they were talking about the bands. No, they legitimately... I'm always left hanging when it comes to a stream every time there is never a time that we start right at 8 30 or even five minutes after 8 30. it's always like i have to wait like 10 minutes or like 15. i'm surprised they don't get a forfeit out of it i mean everyone's there obviously but it's just uh it's egregious don't don't even get me started i love these guys believe me but goodness gracious is it unbelievable the amount of time that i have to wait Holy moly. Well, regardless, uh, looks like we're going to be in the kitchen a little bit. Zat taking a little bit of damage um, right off the bat. Um, oh, well, he's Oryx. Of course, he's going to be taking a little bit of damage running through those walls. Um, very helpful. Oryx just creating those uh, rotate holes and just allowing for a little bit of mobility. A little bit more mobility when you don't want to use an explosive. Um, very, very helpful there. Sato trying to tune into the camera there. Seeing uh, OC Esports taking that out. Seems to be that they... That uh, OC has already moved right into living room here. Ryda, first engagement. Uh, looking near... Your museum. That is taken down, Ryda. Put the shots on, but uh, I think she left me getting finalizing that kill there. She left me behind some foliage. A few shots actually ring out and uh, destroy the Mira. Um, she left me needing to rotate around, caught in too many angles to actually account for. You have a flint being pushed back a little bit, but a 4v4 to anyone's game. She left me about to see this thermite crack right through into the wine cellar. 
Uh, misses the lesion. That's tough. That's a bit of a risky play there, but now the enemy might know where he is. It's going to be a very, very scary peek here. However, this engagement's definitely going to go down. Very nice pre-fire. A little bit of damage on Kita God. She left me just fighting this angle. He got with the re-peek. Trying to look for she left me. Sato right on the defense here. The border of wine cellar and snowmobile. 2-2, two, two, one planting the bomb. She left me with the peek around. He's completely cornered. The reload, what is happening? And U of M Flint seems to collapse in a 2v2. Goodness gracious, right behind that Osa, U of M Flint. Heartbreaking round defeat there. One planting and just not enough intel. At least it seemed uh, for she left me to actually swing onto the other side of Wine Cellar. That long angle covered by Osa really, really made that one uh, quite difficult uh, to approach from. Jovan Flint gonna attempt the snowmobile garage once again. Uh, some of you who may have played Chalet, um, no snowmobile, you know, you would think it's easy, but certainly lots of open opportunities uh, vertically, I, I believe. Um, just throughout the entire living room, once that's taken. Um, wine cellar is completely left open and it, it becomes a little bit of a bloodbath. Lots of protection um, in terms of uh, hard floors here, but not too much. Ryda and she left me on this front line here. Protecting from kitchen. The drone comes out. Ryda does not get a shot on. Oh, and Zat. Getting taken down there. Code Z. Pushing in through the stairs on the other side. Uh, right near kitchen. About to engage. Right, a swinging one on living room there. She left me taking a bit of damage from that push through kitchen. And Ryda falling down by Code Z. Coming in near bar. You have him flint cornered into a 4v3. Nate. Yeah, she left me taking a little bit of a of a flash there. Full blinded. And the nade comes out, is able to get away. Just barely. About 40% of his health left, if that. The lesion comes out, and here comes the thermite breach. Yulon Flint has seen this before. Oh, Sato sees the Jackal. Lights him up a little bit. Another lesion flies out. He left me falling there. Got swung through Wine Cellar. Sato playing very carefully. Left click, full blinded. 
Tater with the Nitro. Bots the Osa. No effect on target, though. The barricade is difficult, but he takes out the Osa. Another swing. That's two. Fuser is found, but the enemy is to his right. He doesn't know. Shots ring out. Gonna bait him out with the diffuser. And it doesn't seem to be a win there. Left click forced to go to back to that diffuser. Drolus getting the final kill there. Really tough round there. Good try by left click to really try and recover that one, but yeah, I mean that uh that definitely came down to kind of like that uh that very very close engagement once again in the wine cellar. Uh, this time more in U of Influence favor, but then uh, the Osa, of course, lots and lots of uh, pressure with those angles uh, possible with that that barricade there. Don Flint switching it up a little bit. Going to be in Billiard's room. First floor defense. A little bit accessible from the second floor. Lots of different angles here. Uh, the windows especially um, on the south side. Going to be a little sketchy. Really need to watch out for those, but it looks like U of M Flint is uh, actually roaming a lot more from the top side. Doesn't want to lose that sort of uh, angle superiority from the top all the way down. Dots ring out. And the round has already begun. Yeah, we see this this look at uh at museum from that top side. Sato going to be the first line of defense here. Yeah, just looks away as we see one hanging in there. Oh, and the flashes come out. Sato getting taken down from that living room. We have a nook pushing in right on the outside of a uh, museum here. Left click watching very carefully. No one on A site quite yet, though. Ryda, we leading this defense here through uh, kitchen, possibly changing floors here. That very careful here. Shots ring out. She left me with one. Catching one off guard. In basement here. Rida sees the, the lesion from Zat here. Left click still anchoring right on sight. One possibly going to drop through the top, but the uh, drone comes out. Sees the nook on that second floor. Lots of pressure on left click here. That taken down. 3v3. But Ryda. Good equalization, but there it goes. Kid God. Getting hit by that lesion. 
the time runs down. If Diffuser down three seconds left and no Diffuser in sight, you and Flint takes their first round this series. Nicely done by left click. Really stalling uh, on that Mira, just keeping it, keeping that defense very solid. Playing like a true anchor, making sure that that bomb just was untouched. See Code Z on the enemy team, uh, leading in kills, um, absolutely kind of wiping the floor. It's it's really interesting. That singular player has kind of been the poison for U of M Flint, um, whereas we have a little bit more of a distribution among U of M Flint. Um, that actually having zero, um, not necessarily going to be the um, one to stay back, but Zat uh, a little bit more forward playing here to begin with. Five seconds to go. Do you see the snowmobile defense come out once again? Ryda all the way up on that third floor and she left me keeping that kitchen safe she left me covering the rear South side wall breached open. She left me watching it. Two possible angles. Zadex actually taking fire. Not sure from who. Zad seems to be poking at this jackal here. Flashes ring out. Zad is flashed. And he's not able to see the jackal here. Oh, Jackal, all the way from up top, looking for she left me, but Kita God, hitting that kill. Enemy team just playing big time with that drone intel. Swim Flint just feeling very exposed right now. 4v2. Lesion still popping off and uh, hurting the enemy team. Sadax down to about 60 health. The aces blow the wine cellar open. The jiggle peaks come out and Sato just not able to land the shots. Left click. Careful on this. 1v4. One coming down the stairs and gets some Dusty. Taking down left click for th round three for Oklahoma Christian. Frost once again coming out. Fenrir staying on that Fenrir. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. So I'm Flint kind of uh, advocating for more of a change in strategy here. That with the Frost mats, just trying to slow the gameplay down. The enemy team only has so much, so much time here. Up. 
Um, but instead, U of M Flint, uh, I haven't pointed this out yet. Um, they are, in fact, uh, defending from Kitchen. Uh, these bombs right in Kitchen. Um, and, and looking for a very open floor three. Oh, and she left me. What a disgusting spawn kill there. Tato just watching for that. OC Esports not quite yet inside the building here. But just as they do, they do come in with a bit of a disadvantage. Losing that sledge is pretty massive for U of M Flint. Um, just not as much breachability, I say that, but they are taking uh, quite a volatile crew, um, especially for having so many breachable walls on Chalet. What that? Oh my goodness. The flash comes in. Really good effect on target. Sado covering the behind. She left me holding very still here. Right outside the bedroom. Running right back down the stairs. That drone. They're becoming very aware. You have them flint at least. Um, that the enemy team and their drone usage. Their, their intel is more than deadly. So every time they see one of these drones. They are just moving. Trying to not underestimate that intel any longer here. She left me sees One with the Solus? Lots of effect on target there. Buck quite lit up. Sees one and she left me gif. Actually wins the vertical fight. Down to one from OC. And UMF with three solid operators still up. Just need to take down this uh, thermite here. And she left me from the bottom. The thermite trying to challenge it with the with the flash, but just walking out onto the floorboards while the flash hadn't even popped yet. Oklahoma Christian getting the uh, gap tightened here as UM Flint takes their second in this series. See the lesion actually come out from Zat here. Still see that, that Fenrir from Ryda. Left click, stick into that Mira. Yeah, she left me just disgusting on that Solus. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really good stuff when we actually get to see him uh, kind of show the proficiency with the operator there. Got Billiard's room. We got uh, the jukebox. The bar, I suppose. Uh, they did remake this map, so I'm not sure if that's the bar anymore. But, uh, yeah, that is that is what it is. Billiard's room, at the very least, is where the bomb is. Uh, you Flint? Not really sure if we're looking... Or something just yet. Shots ringing out. OC hoping to get three kills here. Sato. Seeing a little bit of that. Has uh, taken a little bit of damage from uh, the enemy team shooting out these windows. Sato has that impact ready. May have heard one drop in on Museum. The Habanas, 
landing. Sato getting one. The Ash is taken down. Sadex taking a few rounds there. Is he gonna breach in through library or museum rather? I'm pretty sure that's the call out. <laughs> Dusty, taking down Sato. She left me on the prowl. That waiting for OC Esports to test him. Currently has a lot of lesion charges on him. But just really trying to play quiet. Um, just very aware of how many enemies could possibly be around him. Vida. Not making too many moves. Left click. Falls. Left me on the rotate. And Zat falling as well. The Diffuser planted a 2v3. Entirely winnable for U of M Flint. Ryda gets lit, but takes one down. 2v2. And it gets tense. She left me sees one on window. The flash rings out. Another flashbang. Oh. And she left me just trying to go direct to the Habana there. But another flash. And another kill. It's a fourth win for OC Esports. And Ewan Flint takes their first time out. Yeah, just wondering uh, what U of M Flint um, is currently thinking about. Uh, just a lot of uh, definitely tough gameplay to think about. I mean, just very close rounds, um, but just being kind of pushed into a corner uh, by OC Esports here. Oklahoma Christian definitely kind of gaining the upper hand um, once getting that diffuser down and having that angle just in that last round uh, they were able to defend it from the outside and that's that's a very tough killing blow Jovan Flint just didn't have uh, really the manpower to fight it back um, and we're perhaps a little too spread out from the um, actual bomb site once it did come down to a 2v2 but of course um, the issue at that point was Intel. Who was where? Where were they and where was that diffuser? And now we have uh, OC Sports on the defense. U of M Flint gets ready for the attack. Very interesting. OC Sports actually starting out. On that third floor, or second floor rather, there is no third floor, but uh, I count the basement as the first. No worries there, but uh, yeah, OC, defending from up top here, they do pull out the Mira, um, but they have an Aruni, which is interesting. We haven't seen that yet this series. Yom Flint starts moving in here. The drones come out. And OC starts to hear a little bit from the Yom Flint push. 
Aruni making a little bit of a hole, but Sato catching her. Code Z sees someone repelling. Golas on the defense. Sees Zat jump through that window and another kill for Drolas. Kodzi holding very still right outside museum. You and Flint trying to get a better grip. Left click, just really trying to vibe for this push. Not really able to fight this here on Museum. Rida ringing out some shots. But precious time is running down. 50 seconds on the clock. You have Flint stuck outside. The Kaibi rings. OC Esports not really disabling it. It's a little bit wild there. Tato gets the drone out. It's immediately taken down. Right as he's feet. Rolas with another. Sado. Sado? And the diffuser being left out, unfortunately, is what's going to kill you of Flint's push there as we reach round eight. LC Esports up three. As you and Flint is two to five here. It's uh, a tough position to be in. It's only game one. But it is just hard. I mean, you and Flint has made some strides, really tried uh, just taking these rounds. They know they can. Um, it's just a matter of, of really trying to warm up to... Oklahoma Christian and their gameplay. Trying to see what makes them tick. You see Valkyrie come out from OC Esports. A Malusi as well. Yeah, just going to be emphasizing the second floor defense here. Especially from Museum. We're going to be seeing those Wamais uh, pop around a lot. I'll see Esports very, very worried about utility. For absolute sure. Left click on the rappel. Sado and she left me punching in right here on Wine Cellar. Try to just hang in there. That taking down another Am here. Playing a very aggressive Jackal. While Sado and she left me clear out no mobile. The enemy team sees left at the very least. Or she left me. Not left click. Left click does take a little bit of damage. Going to be moving 
to another floor here. Ryda on the rappel. Trying to protect left click. Zat. Taken down. Dato getting the grid locks right near the objective. Ryda peeking in. Dangerously close. Sato is just in there. Ryda taking some damage from the push. Left click very close. Ryda breaking through office. Sato seeing code Z. Left click taken down right in front of him. Oh, and she left me catching him right there. 2v2. Ryda with the taps. 1v2. She left me, had his back to him for a split second there. Ryda on the protection. And with the shotgun, Ryda closing out the match there. Holy moly. What a tense round for U of M Flint. Seemingly the one thing that would stop uh, them from losing all hope and... Uh, just kind of going on a downward spiral. You have Flint continuing to keep the gap at two rounds, taking a third round in this series. You have Flint still in this, still fighting. Going to be seeing these castles. They do slow down Yovan Flint quite a bit. And so hopefully they're going to have something to respond here. Uh, Zat is going to be uh, hovering this this ash possibly. But she left me actually thinking more the ram angle. Sato going zero possibly. As prep phase ends and these operators are locked in. Yovan Flint looking... Uh, a little bit more aggressive, the ying from left click might do wonders for U of M Flint and their engagements here. We will see if U of M Flint can finally get themselves some good rounds of gunplay and uh, just a solid start to begin with. Alright, something to look at here, left click, and uh, she left me. Just looking dangerous. The castle barricade taken down. This is a dangerous angle to play. Peak versus peak is all it is. Left holding very carefully. He's going to actually drone while on the rappel. Marks one. He left me on the behind. Swinging away at the castle here. Doesn't want to waste any resources. Ryda already punched in. Going to be moving uh, near that, that museum adjacent area on the catwalk. Left click punching in. That's two for left click. She left me lost. Oh, and left click doesn't see one bathroom. Ryda also falling to the one bathroom. Dad on the deployable. Nicely done. Moving right back around. Bit of a recoil there when swinging the angle. 
that very aware of the enemy diffuser in sight Slow peak. Sees one zat. In the human reactions. Sado running. Straight for that diffuser. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Don Flint gets that diffuser, and now 30 seconds on the clock for a plant. It's gonna need to be fast and volatile. And if there's anything I know these two players can do, it's fast and volatile. Oh, and Droll is just playing games. Doing Flint down to a 1v2 and just not able to punch in. Unfortunately, bomb goes off and Yom Flint loses another round here. Match point for OC Esports as they get up to round 6 1. Looking like master bedroom here. Very interesting. You and Flint needing to close this gap. Possible overtime for round number one, for game one rather. OC just playing massively. Roll us in code Z, very much top fragging. Um, and the rules are very, very split amongst um, OC. You have um, Flint just a little bit disorganized, it seems. Hoping they'll be able to, to kind of rally themselves back together and, and see about a more cohesive push going into this next round. Because it really is do or die. These next three rounds, if they can muster it, are going to be very critical. That's coming through. It's a very tense push here. And the nitro cell, unfortunately. Rida falling there. Enemies peeking out. Dusty taken down. He left me with the finish. 4v4. Straight nade from Sato. Click trying to break through. Yom Flint just knocking at the door of kitchen. Trying to clear it out here. 45 seconds on the clock. Left click Zat and she left me taken down within a matter of seconds. OC just focused in. 
We want Flint needing to try again next game. Coming in hot for this Skyscraper game. OC Esports starting off with that Thatcher ban. And we're just continuing on. You and Flint uh, going to need to fight for this one here. Uh, down one, but not out. Skyscraper going to be a uh, match uh, series point, rather, for OC Esports here. You want Flint bans Twitch. We're waiting on the Defender ban. Here comes the Soulless ban. Very interesting. Uh, not going to be of any use for She Left Me this time around. And OC Esports locks in the Cade as we get ready to drop into Skyscraper. All right, we're going to be looking at this Dekaibi once again. A little bit more aggressive. Staying with that Jackal, um, but the Gridlock becoming a very much favorite of Sato. A lot of these angles, I mean, locking down Skyscraper is super important. Lots of corners, lots and lots of corners. Sharp angles uh, to, to deal with here on Skyscraper. A little bit more compressed, if you will. Um, pretty useful for a Gridlock, especially. And when she left me, kind of catches the scent of uh, one of OC's operators. It can get dicey. I'm waiting for it here. Do I'm Flint ready to go? That's already ringing out. Down on the first floor. Mm, I don't think that fire is suppressive. Got Sato droning in. Already seeing one on the northeast side. You left me covering that flank with the Claymore. That very slow uh, peak here. The flash rings out. They're really keeping eyes on this uh, this uh, northeast push here. Insertion point could be very useful. The nade lands, really trying to cover that corner. She left me, piercing in, swinging around top of stairs seems to be clear, and she left me catches one. You left me seize the deployable. Hita God lit up and Ryda with the MK14 upside down. Nicely done. The drone comes in to cover sight and Zat falls. Left click pushing in first floor. Sado. Sado? That's two down, um, but also minus one because of an enemy. John Flint has one downed. And OC Esports is down to a 1v2. Now it is a, uh, was a 1v3, now a 1v2. Sado playing out of their mind there. Three kills and left click to finish it right off. You and Flint starting off on fire with a round win here on Skyscraper. The ace still here. 
Left click still hovering that ace pick and I uh, OC Esports going to be trying the same thing here. Opting for the same defense. On Flint. Uh, perhaps looking at a little bit of uh, perhaps not entirely the same. The Finca is interesting. Sure is. The Nomad as well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but OC Esports not really changing up their team composition too much, but uh, John Flint definitely making a few changes. We'll be playing a little bit different into the same site. Dado clearing bar. We have left click repelling onto that second floor. Claymore laid down on a possible flank angle, and the ace brings out. Hita God finds Ryda. Left click on a dangerous angle here. Got about three people near that same angle. Not entirely aware of the danger he might be in. She left me just pushing in the flashbang. The pre-fire. That gonna try a different angle here. Left click falling. And the Fenrir. Getting difficult to fight from this position. Sato finds one. Finca using once again. Trying to pop in. Not too much intel. You have a flint with only 30 seconds left on the clock. And this diffuser is just still unbelievably defended. Continuing to fight for that diffuser. She left me. Strolls in. And OC with a unbreakable defense. One to one. Round three might be a little bit different around this time. Zat looking for a Ying. Um, Sledge coming out, but of course the ace seems to be a very consistent option for us here. Yeah, this exhibition room gonna be gonna be a good defense here. Right above the stairs, gonna be quite a hot zone. Attackers objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Young Flint probably going to be vying, especially for this breachable wall here. Um, it is reinforced, of course. Uh, 
but with no Thatcher, it'll be a bit hard pressed to see this one. Left click actually pulling out the Blitz. I uh, would like to see some action, especially. Oh, left click taking a little bit of team fire, it seems like. Entirely possible. She left me. Disgusting. Not sure where that kill entirely came from. One definitely peaked in bar. Um, and he was not messing around. Left click just taking point. Making sure to push in. Really good intel. Theto getting one. And left click with the flash? What is happening? 2v3. As U of M Flint finally finds some sort of formula here. Left click with the shield. Um, especially devastating. Actually finding a, a lot of info on the enemy team. Uh, meanwhile, kind of pushing in, clearing rooms simultaneously. Um, without having all the disadvantages of a drone only being able to take a single round. With that shield on the other hand, he's able to take multiple, but Ryda, unfortunately, taking a little too many. Down to a 2v2 as left click pushes through. Finding a way right around what? 60 seconds. Left click uh, and Zat finding each other, but finally finding Sadex and what a hairy round that was. Left click MVP of that round. The shield might be the play. Yeah, I think the shield might be the saver for the attacking side here. I, I think Yovan Flint should really stay on that. That is a solid move there. But of course, I think something very adjacent to that, the Osa pick. Very interesting. Left click, stick into the blitz. Maybe Montan and... Uh, she left me opting for a glass, perhaps. Instead, we will see what affects that. Jovan Flint finally actually seeing a, a vulnerability in OC Esports here. Jammer's going down, and uh, OC Esports not changing too much in the way of operators. You want Flint pushing in. We do have that glass lockdown, and the Montaigne instead this time. Um, might be a little overzealous. I mean, I think Blitz certainly did work quite well last round, especially because of that flashbang. Um, but... Uh, as long as, as left has, uh, someone accompanying him, um, that is the whole point. Ryda, seeing a bit of an open opportunity on this reinforced wall. Left click already opening up, uh, to protect this flank here. Shots ringing through, and no one's damaged quite yet. The drones fly out. Your flint tries to... Gain some knowledge here. Uh, there is a mute jammer. Left click grabs it. Sado is pushed in. Sees one. Barely uh, survives. Goodness gracious. That was a close encounter for absolute sure. Zat um, looking for the ying angle, but completely interrupted by uh, the Jaeger. Unfortunately, Drolus takes out Ryda with the Nitro Cell. Yom on Flint is down a man. 4v5 here. The smokes go out. 
and left click with the diffuser plant just not going to work out. A 5v2, and I think I'm not entirely sure what the angle there was having left click plant that. Um, I mean, I'm sure the shield actually protects his backside, um, but. I'm uh, a little bit hesitant to question um, why left click wasn't the one to, to deflect the bullets while someone else also diffused. However, this is the position they're left in, losing two on such a push. That caught a little bit by surprise here by that mute, getting the mute downed and killing them. Down to she left me for this push here. And Code Z finding she left me. Killing him with the super shorty. On five. You on Flint still tied with OCE Esports. And instead, looking for that ace on left click. Kind of reminiscing round one. Uh, not seeing the Finca anytime soon, I don't think so, but we will see. OC Esports defends this area here, the... Uh, Lounge in the shrine. Ten seconds left. You have the Azami this time around. Five seconds left. Sadex having that Azami uh, going to be. It'll be exciting to see what these engagements looks like. Um, as the Azami was banned last round, we see it pulled out this one. Kind of angles are we creating with these here? I do wonder. You left me droning in, Sato. Moving with Zat. That completely caught. OC just so unbelievably aggressive at times. Just super surgical in their aggression. Left me watching from inside bar. Seem to have seen the Azami, perhaps. Going to be rotating up the stairs. Edo. Dangerously close. He's the peak. Lesion lit up a little bit. He left me continuing to push. Data looking for one. Gridlock on the flank. And the gridlock right on the door there. Mute. Found by the jackal. Left click lighting him up. Swinging on drum. Mute's caught out. And the full swing for the double kill. You left me finding the Jaeger. 
The peak comes out, 1v4. U of M Flint on the hunt for the Fenrir. Sato taken down by the Fenrir. Left click going to plant the bomb. Right out on the window. Thirty seconds on the clock. Down to the Fenrir in a one v three. Twenty five seconds. Left click taken down. She left me missing a couple key shots. Fenrir with the peak on stairs, but she left me wins the battle. Nicely done. Round six. And you have a Flint. Easing ahead of OC Esports on Skyscraper here. It is tense. But you want Flint staying ahead. Just barely. But staying ahead nonetheless. We do see the the alibi actually come out from OC Esports. This is going to be a little bit, a little bit more intel based. Going to be, going to be working a lot more, uh, kind of on the counter offensive. Left click on that blitz. It's just disgusting, and I really do like seeing it. I mean, left click kind of went crazy. Um, especially when the when OC just really couldn't do anything when he strolled into a room. It just became left click's domain, um, if you will. And of course, we see the ram as well, which I, I really do like the vertical gameplay. Whenever U of M Flint pulls out some vertical uh, gameplay, she left me always, uh, never fails. To surprise me. Sato coming on in. Claymore on the behind. Left click watching through carefully. Catching one on drone. And Flint very patient this time around. Ida looking for one in karaoke. Left click. Watching those stairs. Pushing in. No regard for life whatsoever. Going to be taking... Uh, Trying, trying to take down those breaches, but nice pre-fires on the stairs. Very, very important to be careful about a flank there. Oh, and the Fenrir triggers and left click just faces away from the enemy. That getting taken down by Dusty Sado. A pixel of movement. You left me on a very tight angle there. Moving back a little bit more in the vision of drum. Dato going to be coming in. Hoping to support. She left me's push here. Lots of noise. And caught from behind by the thorn. 2v4. She left me with one. 2v3. 35 seconds on the clock. Right up punching through with the Dakaibi. She left me running for the hills.
Love me with the pre-fires. Just going to need to run in, but Toad Z and Kita God locking the site down. The Fenrir proving to be very strong. We go into round eight. Three to three. You on Flint. Four rounds away from equalizing this one out and going to the decider clubhouse. OC Esports four rounds away from closing this series out. See, she left me locking in the trusty warden. As Ewan Flint goes to the defending side. And we see, of course, Zat on the Azami. A pick that I sorely missed last game. Right a chilling on the Wamai. Left click on the smoke. Sado on the Jaeger here. And I wonder, I do wonder if that 416 carbine is still as devastating as it has always been. Suppose I'll find out this round. Young Flint getting some good rotates open. And so it begins. OC Esports finds the bomb sites. The insertion has begun. I'm Flint sitting pretty. One seems to push right through the front door. See it on the back stairs on the north side. The drone spots him. Unable to catch it. Sato moving back a little bit more close on the angle. Here's the barricade break. He's getting flanked by the Montan. Oh, completely out. Pincered by OC. Sato down. It'll be a little bit difficult here. That Montang playing massively. Lots of pressure, especially with the Dakaibi ringing. Shots ringing through. She left me keeping this angle safe. Dusty finds left click. Attackers are activating the diffuser. Diffuser planted. That watching for it. Dusty is found by Ryda. On that flank. That. Punching into him. They see the Montang. He left me. Finds the kill. The diffuser needs to be taken there. And it's down to one Montang. Right over the bomb. Unfortunate there. Don Flint losing the round.
frustrating round to be sure you and Flint not too far away from being able to recover. Jerome Flint trying karaoke once again. Peta God, finding a lot of resistance from She Left Me, lighting him up, um, but not quite getting the kill there. Going to still be very, very helpful later on. She Left Me deploying that shield, getting ready for OC's offensive. Yulman Flint looking to try not to lose another round and uh, making sure of that. Sato taking so much damage, pushed out through the uh, through the the stairway there. That Montaigne going to be another issue once again. Left click with those smokes might be um, their only hope to really. Thoroughly push him back. Stay Left click getting antsy. The flashbang rings out. Folks punching through. Ryda gets found. That spots the Montang. Does that also get spotted from the stairs? A full blind down to left click 1v5. Left click finds Dusty. Another one on the right pulls out the shotgun. The Osa in the way. Left click going around the left. Tries to swing Kida. Takes him down straight through two walls. Goodness gracious. Five to three. Yohan Flint needing to turn this game around to avoid that match point.
that going to be going to be on more of the offensive here Sato sticking to mute actually uh, not going for the Jaeger as we saw last time left click on Mira definitely a much different style um, with Yuvan Flint taking a much more utility centric um, composition this time uh, much less gun uh, gun focused much less directly engagement focused composition here Left click just continuing through here. Looking for a possible angle to just uh, contest Sado. Taken out by Dusty, unfortunately. Left click a little sandwiched here. This is definitely how Zoomers play Rainbow Six. Not gonna lie. Bro is peeking everything at the same time, but Ryda finds one. That's going to be very careful covering the west side, right near drum, little pre-fire. Right near dragon, sorry. Oh, and she left me. Just pushing in. The Wamai is coming down. Young Flint playing this safe. A soft trickle is how they like to take their kills here. One by one, OC Esports seems to fall. 5v2 now. As Ryda is on another kill. Code Z getting a kill. And Zat with the refrag. Kaibi finally pushing in. He left me, I think, going to see her. Not quite. Rida with the peak. You want Flint? Still got some fire in their step, especially after some disappointing rounds, but goodness gracious, they need to overcome OC. They can do it. How do they replicate their rounds of success here? That is the real question. Attackers need to locate and defuse bomb. They're looking to be defending from kitchen. Attackers have located a bomb. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds remaining. From Flint. Uh, not going to be going for the jammer angle here. A little more aggressive, Ryda, of course, uh, pulling out the frost. We have Sato on the lesion, that on the alibi instead. She left me right off the bat. Reloading. Just getting a kill here. 
We have Drolas looking for the Abanas, setting them up on the uh, north side here. with the lesion right uh, hearing these shots ring out trying to position himself best he left me watching this window I think that may be ram on the right I'm not entirely sure He left me ready for this peak. Here's the rappel. IQ playing slow. He left me getting a bit impatient. Going to be out in the open. No cover. Takes a lot of damage. Zat creating a lot of fire on the other side. Losing left click in the process. He left me reorienting. Try and challenge this push a little better. 60 seconds on the clock. 3v4 for OC Esports. You on Flint at the advantage. And she left me. Loses the push, but so does Code Z. Zat with the kill. 3v2. Sato opens up B site a little bit more. The Nook and Habana. You and Flint have to look out for 20 seconds on the clock. Flashes come out. Ryda taken down by Dusty. Zat on behind and Zat with another kill. Closing out the round. Very nice. Very well done. You have him Flint with the equalizer. You want Flint on the cusp of getting to match point on the cusp of getting us to a decider round on Clubhouse. OC Esports also on the cusp of getting to match point on the cusp of closing the series out. You have Flint needing to continue to deliver this momentum. And keep the dream alive. Let's go, boys. And it's the A and B site on karaoke once again. And we we got trusty old left click on the vertical. Zat going to be challenging right off the bat. Dying to the ash, it seems like. He left me very careful on drum. I'm going to retreat from that angle. And maybe much less retreat and more look for a possible rotationary. Three drones taken down. She left me almost peeking that. The Kaibi. Bringing them in. Ryda locking it down to Wamai's. The 
Dakaibi. Rolls through. Dakaibi is out of charges. Potato getting dangerous. Lining the pixel peak up. Almost gets the headshot off. Right up with one, but it's a trade. Frag for frag. You and Flint can't really take too many of those. 3v4. 50 seconds on the clock. They need to stall. Flashbang thrown. Sato close. Sato wins the fight. 3v2. 35 seconds on the clock. Left click taken down. It's down to she left me and Sato. Nate and Vito to save this game. User picked up. She left me with the push. 10 seconds on the clock. And Sato with an absolute banger of a long shot. Match point for U of M Flint. Finally afforded the opportunity this whole series. What will they do with it? Left click on that Mira. Bandit coming out once again. The Azami from Zat. Pulling out all the stops. U of M Flint looking for it. But OC Esports looking for it as well. The Yana, the IQ might be detrimental. Lots of breach opportunities. Looking to play a very open game here. OC Esports wants a fight in gunplay. Yuan Flint is ready to bring it to him. Right, with the reinforce. She left me. Oh. What an angle. And 50 damage on Sodex. What an angle. Where was that? A few rounds ago. Probably not wanting to show their cards just yet. She left me with some good effect on target. Ash. About down to half health. You'll then flint. Already starting off very strong here. Two minutes, 20 seconds till the end of this round. Or at least by the time uh, those two minutes and 20 seconds are over, we will know if we are in overtime or not. I, I think here's the IQ pushing through that first floor. Entirely possible. Ryda holding very steady on these stairs. That careful in the exhibition. She left me taking down one of these... Uh, Bones here is that careful. Got left click staring at these jammed Habanas. Or my breach. Left click with a down and a confirmed kill for U of M Flint. Zodak still down to half health. U of M Flint still able to, to capitalize on that. Zodak does, in fact, take out Zat. But Sado with the shotgun. 4v3. 
UM Flint can take these trades all day. They are on defense. 35 seconds on the clock. The nade ringing through. Four v two, Ewan Flint holding steady. Left click suppressing fire, keeping the enemy back. She left me pushing. One v four, five on the clock, and left click with the kill. U of M Flint takes game two, and we go to the decider at clubhouse. I gotta say, y'all had me. Y'all had me wondering. Get this bread. You and Flint banning the Montang. Um, it's an extremely isolated map. Gotta hate shield operators on this map. Not too many uh, repel angles that could kind of give you um, uh, too too much of an advantage there. Um, especially if you're on the defending side. Kaid, banned once again. Um, I mean, very popular ban. You really just don't want to see uh, the versatility. Um, being able to 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 Kaid trick at a moment's notice. It's uh, pretty insane but the mira ban very very interesting i don't think we've gone this whole series without the mira and we begin on clubhouse here here we are First round, clubhouse, so it begins. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Okay. Looking like a basement angle here. And uh, the Valkyrie here on the top floor. These cams, very interesting. At the top of the garage. We're running around. I think... Uh, this player is going to roam and hard. Dusty, of course, a very dangerous player. You know, Flint just really needs to, to slow down the fragging ability of the enemy team. What well, kind of quickening their ability to push in. This is the game for the series. No matter what, at the end of this... We will know who will take this game. And Dusty pushing in despite all those Valk cams. He was unable to push in there. Flint not quite able to see that Valk cam just yet. I'm going to be quite exposed for a second here. A breach charge. Popping off, left click pushing in. He left me already. Clearing out that third floor. They don't watching from behind. Clearing from behind. Ryder on the flank here in bathroom. And billiards. We're going to be very careful. Flint real scrappy here. She left me with the Osa. Able to find one of the Jaegers. Takes it out. 
Knows where the enemies are. Going to possibly set up the Osa. You have Flint just pushing in. 5v3. Fida. Very advantageous angle with this buck here, but Sato falls to Kita God. He left me going to take a lot of damage here. A dangerous peak. Jaeger just pixel peeking. Left click watching from up top. The Ying pops. Left click with the shots. The Ying's popping off. The swing from the Jaeger. Left click planting. That last one to defend him. That kills Kita God. Planter is down and Zat and left click with a clean execute. Round one is taken by U of M Flint. What a clean execute U of M Flint pushing in right combined with the Ying. Coming down the kills. It was just clean. Round two begins. Same angle it looks like. You have Flint now needing to respond. Ute going to play big time here. Very important to make sure um, if they are defending that third floor that they are not going to be um, contested by way of just easy breach there. While it is a hard breach, uh, hard breach materials not too hard to come by these days. Still very much a limited resource. As opposed to the um, key that Ryda has on the bottom of his assault rifle. Be clearing billiards. John Flint looking to clear top down. He left me looking at this hatch. Sees the Valkyrie cam and is able to see Jaeger right past the doorway. Going to be tracking him for a bit. Dato positions a little higher on these stairs. Left click, finding one on main stairs, going to be pushing the Ying, comes out. Shots ringing through, that close to main stairs, left click, a little bit more pushed up in, Ryda, going to be the one to respond. Left click and Ryda closing in. Ryda trading a few shots and she left me right on top of the target. As you have M Flint clears systematically top down. 50 seconds on the clock. You have M Flint playing with an advantage here. The Ram pushing through. Going to be opening the vertical on that entire hallway down near both of the bomb sites, bisecting the two. Left click, going to be swinging. 
The drone pops in. Oh, and left click. Just barely, nearly able to light up the Azami's head there, but not, not enough. 13 seconds on the clock. Needing to push in. Left click caught out completely. Fuser is down. Six seconds on the clock. That on the other side of the wall, and it is a chalked round for U of M Flint. U of M Flint, unfortunately, just not able to finish the round fast enough, but did make a really good job of clearing both the top floors, making their way all the way down, establishing priority. And all that was left was to plant that diffuser. They just didn't have enough time. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. And it seems like Enemy is set up CCTV. Going to be fighting on this third floor big time. A lot of possibilities here. Injecting from the garage could be a plan um, or establishing a, a really solid foothold on the north side. Um, opening that wall up can be very important here, seeing as if they stall, that Solus may find them uh, completely open. Young Flint ready for it. Sato breaking the front door open. Shots coming in. That falls. One for one so far. Right up behind the Osa. Right, uh, playing between these two angles. Right, uh, with a really good angle to try and fight this smoke here. The drone comes out, needing a little bit more information. They find the Solus. Uh, right up with the diffuser. The smoke lands, but the diffuser does in fact go down. 3v3. You and Flint playing heavily in their own favor here. The diffuser coming down, but Soul is trying to diffuse. And Ryda with the finish. You and Flint just barely able to plant that diffuser. Absolutely gorgeous, able to defend it from both sides, pushing in through the garage and finally finishing the execute. Yuan Flint finally cooking up these plans and actually executing on them very nicely. We'll say that uh, that Solus. I really do not know why uh, the Solus did not shoot that. Wow, these boys are loud. <laughs> Holy.
You have Flint finding that same angle once again. OC Esports in CC. Left click, looking at that rappel, just coming on up. Already looking for this very breachable angle. Breach comes down. The charge blows. Very open for U of M Flint. I don't think breach that happened last time around is going to be tried again here. Left click on the prowl. Finds the Jaeger. Oh, and that's just textbook from left click here. That unfortunately dying there. Left click, not able to see that other hostile there. Drollis probably right on his left side. Gonna be swinging this, really checking. Smoke tries to come out, but the Jaeger popping. The smoke, the actual toxic gas smoke. Uh, actually popping off, but right on the other side, trying to swing in. Flames from she left me pushing that smoke over. Left click catching him out just a little bit. 3v3. The nade landing. Oh, and it comes right back to Sato. Dusty able to get two down to left click in a 1v2. And Drolus gets the kill. You have a flint fumbling around there. You know, flint losing another round. OC Esports linking it up. Tying it 2-2. Two to two. John Flint really started there, really good momentum, really good open spot, but I think uh, playing a little uncoordinated in terms of uh, not playing from that advantage they had, uh, maybe a second eye where the smoke was, but alas, the round is over and we're on to round five. Sites are in the basement. Place you haven't flint has been uh, about half successful in. Ten seconds remaining. See you have flint trying uh, two different pushes here. You and Flint a little bit more unified this time around. Uh, quite literally. These three looking to push in. Right as she left me and left click. All grouped up. Ready for a team push here. She left me not seeing one down hatch.
Left click ready for it, but aiming in just as Kida gets the shots down. Reda trying to, to pre-fire that same angle there. Gotta say, you and Flint not playing with as much brain this time around. Flint slowing it down a little bit. 3v5, though. Going to really need some important picks. 1 minute 30 seconds. Beto playing very carefully. Oh, that pre fire is deadly. Back to a 3v3. Got right across, right uh, taken down, down to a 1v3. That. Eliminated. And the next round begins. OC. A lot of momentum. Three straight round wins and Ewan Flint needing to make a reply here. Protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. We see bedroom and gym actually for this bomb site. It'll be a very gunplay centric fight here. Not too much vertically that you have Flint can do. Um, of course, unless you're talking about uh, this backside. Um, where the office is. Ten seconds left. Pushing in through CC is uh, an option. Being able to break open uh, one of those breaches and then having a little bit of sight over uh, the roaming area around A, but uh, definitely a very tight sight to get into. I mean, the obvious choice would be to, to open up the gym side, but... You know, Flint might be cooking a lot of different things here. We will see about it. Sato actually on the Twitch. Haven't seen that come out just yet. Left click finding one. Going to blow open that hallway there. Carefully watching around. That going to sledge. That castle here. And Zat. With the nade, the Wamai takes that nade. A zombie in bath, it seems like. Right with the kill. She left me pushing in. 3v5. She left me yinging. Left click, finishing off the round. Quite chaotic to begin with. But you and Flint equalizing it out. Finally taking a round after OC Esports has just been battering us. And now playing from almost a new game. Four rounds away for either team.
You want Flint on the defense. And it begins at CC. Now the Azami here from She Left Me going to be playing a little bit closer to sight, it seems like, but actually I'm completely wrong. He's going to be playing a lot closer to the uh, garage, it seems like. Still very close to sight. Um, she Left Me just going to be uh, playing for this entry point here and a possible angle. Uh, through that window, that big opening in CC. Left click actually having uh, taken a little bit of damage. I uh, possibly went for a, a spawn kill and got nicked a little bit, but uh, seemingly no damage on either side. Dusty with a little drive by sledge here. Very interesting way to sledge, by the way. Uh, Dusty doing that, I think, avoids getting Nitro Cell, but Sadex taking out left click. Young Flint approaching this round at two minutes already. Down one. But it does, in fact, hear the drone. That climbing stairs, watching for any entry. Dato hears some fire, and then from the west side, you and Flint needing to respond. That, with the kill, Ryda, bearing up, ready for it. The diffuser actually getting planted here. Gas coming down. Ryda gets taken out. Flint really trying to look for it. That tried to go for it. Sato took one down near bomb. They're going to go for that diffuser right off the bat. And oh, just barely. Dusty clearing the room out. Round eight. OC Esports up. Four to three. Yuan Flint really need, needing to send a soaring punch back over to OC. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Yuan Flint on this basement. Yeah, this basement angle going to play this real hard. Here's that actually pulling out that warden. Um, I imagine he's going to be real aggressive with that. Waiting to see it. Does that roam? It can be deadly. It certainly is going to need to be. If we want to see Yom Flint get an early advantage in this round here. Big 
Beta right off the bat. Here's the the breach charges come down. Going to be holding close. That begins looking for angles. And she left me and that pinching one. 5v4. That down. Cut out billiards and Sado. Pitches one. Going to pull back through the tunnel here. 4v3, you have on Flint still holding that advantage tightly. Lesions coming out. Ryda watching for any possible breach. You hear the ram pushing right over the site here. Ryda pulling back. Trying not to get shot from the vertical. Right click. Oh, just barely. He's just looked away from the. Right. Uh, not to peek this. This one, but Sato. Clearing that one. Right. Uh, with the peek on blue main. And there it is. You and Flint calling this one down and pushing that gap back to a tied game. It's so tense. You of M Flint. Playing very similarly, but we do see Zat on Solus instead of the Warden. This will be this will be big time. I think this is Zat playing very, very, very solidly. Zad peeking out for these early drone kills here. Left click, just positioning this Valkyrie just perfectly. All these Valk cams absolutely dastardly. And Zat getting ready. Pull out the Solus. Shots already ringing through into the garage. She left me ready to defend. Izami dagger landing. Breach comes through. Zat with a flank of the sentry. If only I had been there to see it. Goodness gracious. Not looking for him. Bloodthirsty here. Going to be on the flanks. That is found out. He's going to retreat a little bit to find a better place to fight from here. Kubat Garage, Zat taken out. She left me ready to counter. 
4v4. She left me very careful on that push. Eyes on the stairs. Ditto holding still. Nades coming through. She left me very careful, trying to peek out for one. Yo, and Flint, she left me just in a precarious spot. Four enemies around. Lots of pressure. Drolus gets Ryda. 3v3. She left me with one, but the equalize. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Left click careful on this. The smoke's down, not dissipating anytime soon. The smoke coming down. Really good suppression here. Seven seconds on the clocks. Left click with another kill and Sato with the shotgun for another round. And here it is. Yom Flint, one away from match point, two away from win here. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Looking like the gym bathroom. Yom Flint is ready for it. Sato on mute. Got Zat on the Azami. She left me on Wamai. Left click with the castle. Looking to actually slow down OC. Um, I think the castle is a very, very good choice here. Uh, needing to play it in bath in uh, bedroom gym is especially important. I think um, those windows are just so uh, absolutely imperative to kind of slow the push down into um, wasting a lot of uh, resources in terms of the ashes, especially um, since you can peek out from CCTV if you hear them start meleeing. It's a very, very solid choice by U of M Flint. Dato right in front of that that breach there. Place that jammer. Double flashbang and the impact nade. Ryder going to continue to try and bandit trick, but it doesn't work. The breach opens. It consumed two flashbangs at the very least. Rotate created by Sato there very quickly. Attackers have located a bomb. Sato holding close with the shotgun. Mute just anchoring. And uh, she left me on this. What is this angle? All the way from behind. All the way from dirt. And Sato with another one. Two. Enemies in gym, key to God, taking two of U of M Flint down. User could be planted any second now. U Flint in a tense 3v3. Left click with the peak. 
the fuser being planted. That with another. And another kill! Double kill for Zat. Double kill for Sato. And left click with one to end the round. Match point for U of M Flint. It's do or die. Smoke once again by Sato. I mean, a solid choice. Able to extend the game uh, by using those. I mean, it's just so helpful um especially we saw how they were used in cctv about three rounds ago uh on that defense it's super imperative uh that smoke is big time especially now we are in the basement so it's even more close quarters and those uh the smokes are going to come into play a lot more and i think sato is really feeling themselves with that shotgun i mean just really feeling themselves because this this SAS shotgun is a monster proximity alarm goes down you on flint bending left click with a with a very nice Azami setup here I think she left me just damaged the ying with uh, about 10 health, maybe landing only about two rounds there. But uh, still, all damage counts. It certainly does. Dato hears the breach. Carefully now, she left me with another Wamai. Bending these stairs. Jump Flint holding up. Looking for a little bit of vertical gameplay. Ryda opening up the kitchen, it seems like. Left click. Checking blue main. That hallway can get quite deadly. Ryda with a pick. Okay, Ryda. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. He's uh, he's having fun. He's having a good time. Four v five here. You on Flint? Thing with an advantage. Sado taken out. Four v four. Match is uh, getting aced, it seems. You left me caught. Speaker advantage here. They know he's there. She left me pixeling this one. That ready for the peak. Getting tense. The push is about to begin. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. I don't know what's happening. Three PCs down, it seems. At the same time, uh, my friends, I am uh, not sure. Um, Ewan Flint was in a winning state, so I'm not entirely sure what uh, what we do with this round here, but I think uh, Ewan Flint does take this regardless that's uh really rough my condolences to oklahoma christian
But still, uh, congrats to U of M Flint. That was a very anticlimactic way to end this broadcast. But U of M Flint, nonetheless, nonetheless, U of M Flint has still fought to the end and did in fact make it to that match point.